This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high-quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens, which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at the biggest altcoin news that just broke. So without further ado, let's get started. Bitcoin prices dropped sharply overnight Saturday plunging to a low near $43,000. The world's most prominent cryptocurrency paired losses subsequently, last changing hands at around $49,248, according to Coinmetrics. From a 24-hour period spanning early Friday morning to early Saturday morning, Bitcoin's price went from about $57,000 to $47,000, losing $10,000 more than 17%. The price of Ether also dived to a low near $3,500 on Saturday. It paired some losses by Saturday night, trading at $4,166. Ether, the world's second largest digital coin by market value, lost more than 16% from Friday morning around 8 a.m. ET through to Saturday 8 a.m. ET. Crypto began falling Friday as stocks pulled back and investors fled to the safety of treasuries, pushing the 10-year yield lower. Risky tech stocks were among the biggest losers on Wall Street on Friday, with Tesla shedding 6%. The ARK Innovation Fund lost 5% on Friday and 12% on the week. As the sentiment soured in the tech space, those investors may have also started unloading their crypto. But there was no clear reason for the cryptocurrency drop, especially overnight Saturday, when the losses accelerated. Now, why is this happening? The declines were widespread across the crypto universe. Other widely traded cryptocurrencies including Solana, Dogecoin or DogeUSD, negative 2.38%, and Shiba Inu, negative 4.61 coin lost more than a fifth of their value. Disquiet in the stock market over the new Omicron variant of COVID-19 and the Federal Reserve's response to inflation might have played a role. Another possible factor accelerating the Bitcoin sell-off was the unwinding of the heavily leveraged crypto derivatives, said Noelle Acheson, head of market insights at crypto lender Genesis Global Trading. She pointed to a large sell order that might have triggered the margin calls and liquidations for investors. The price of Bitcoin seesawed later Saturday after El Salvador President Nayib Bukele whose country adopted Bitcoin as a national currency in September, said in a Twitter post that the country had bought 150 coins for an average of $48,670 each. El Salvador just bought the debt, he said. He later wrote that the country had missed the effing bottom by seven minutes, followed by a laughing emoji. It isn't the first time El Salvador has jumped into the market after a big price fall. The interventions have turned the tiny impoverished nation into an informal central bank that props up the digital currency. Similar to the way mainstream central banks intervene in foreign exchange markets to keep currency stable. The week was a roller coaster ride for the stock market, with investors uncertain about the course of the pandemic and inflation. The Omicron variant has triggered new restrictions worldwide, just as travel was starting to bounce back. Fears of another economic slowdown mixed with heightened worry by the Federal Reserve over inflation. Earlier this week, Chairman Jerome Powell said the central bank was prepared to pull back its easy money policies quicker than previously expected opening the door to raising interest rates in the first half of next year. Higher rates make holding speculative assets such as Bitcoin less attractive. When the Federal Reserve raised rates in 2017 and 2018, Bitcoin prices fell dramatically, referred to among crypto aficionados as a Bitcoin winter. The coin took off again during the pandemic. Bitcoin hit an all-time high on November 9th of $67,802. And how does this affect the altcoins? Altcoins are seeing nothing but red as it typically happens when BTC and ETH dumps hard. So do the altcoins. The situation with the rest of the alts is similar, if not worse, as double-digit price drops are evident left and right. Other major cryptocurrencies like Solana, Shiba Inu, Cardano, and Polygon also tanked 13-20% to during the day. The global market cap also showed a sharp decline over the past 24 hours, standing at $2.23 trillion. This was a 14.64% decline over the past 24 hours, data from CoinMarketCap showed. On the other hand, the total crypto market volume tracked a sudden increase. The volume of traded coins over the last 24 hours stood at $199.83 billion, which is a 76.05% rise, data showed. With almost all lower and mid-cap outs also in such an adverse state, the cumulative market cap of all assets dumped from above $2.6 trillion to just over $2 trillion in coin market cap. As of now, it's around $2.2 trillion, which still means a $400 billion decline in a day. Before we go on to the next part of the video, 
like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or your invested cryptos will dip and never go back up. With all this happening, which altcoins should you be buying? First up, we have Cardano. Cardano price was not immune to the massive overnight flash crash that affected the broader cryptocurrency market. Overall, Cardano price action remains a disappointment for long-term holders, but an exception might be made for last week's trading activity. Amidst the intense selling pressure on Friday that saw many altcoins hit nearly double-digit percentage losses and significant weekly losses, Cardano maintained a positive weekly close. Cardano price action last week spent a good majority of the time establishing and battling for support at the $1.45 to $1.50 price levels. Some of the most significant support zones for Cardano exist near the $1.50 level, 2021 volume point of control, and the top of the cloud or Senku span A. Cardano's ability to hold this level amidst much stiffer weakness across the altcoin market gives traders a heads up on where Cardano is likely headed. And then the flash crash during the New York midnight trading session occurred. At one point, Cardano collapsed more than 25%, dipping below the weekly Senku Span B. Cardano price has since recovered, it is now holding steady above Senku Span B. A decisive factor supporting the idea that Cardano will make a new bull run is the condition of the composite index. The arrows on the chart below point to the week of the November 5th swing low in the composite index, the second lowest reading in Cardano's history, and its corresponding candlestick directly above it in last week's composite index line to its corresponding candlestick. Next up, we have Luna. Terraform Labs Luna is fast becoming one of the crypto market's best performance, having gained around 80% in value in the last week alone. The gains have come thanks to a combination of falling supply of tokens and a series of changes in how the coin is used in its own payment network. Luna's even overtaken Dogecoin darling Shiba Inu and Ethereum killer Avalanche's AVAX to become the 11th biggest cryptocurrency by market value, according to data from CoinMarketCap. The Terra blockchain launched in January 2018 and uses fiat-pegged stablecoins to run its payment system. Its native Luna token is then used to stabilize the price of the protocol's algorithmically backed Terra USD stablecoin USD. According to its white paper, Luna holders can submit and vote governance proposals of their own. This week, investors voted to allow community funding for an overhaul of the network's Track Terra tax and reporting app. That will allow Luna holders to export transactions to different tax software programs, according to a tweet from developer Terra. Luna has been one of the strongest performing major cryptocurrencies over the last seven days, much to the enthusiasm of its lunatic community of supporters. The price was up 7.2% at $67.83 in the 24 hours to 6.45 a.m. ET on Friday, bringing its market capitalization above $26 billion. Earlier in the day, it hit the record of $70.46 on the Binance exchange. Its network rolled out a major upgrade last month, aimed at better maintaining the peg of the Terra USD to its fiat value. In turn, that resulted in over 93 million Luna tokens being burned, effectively vanishing from circulation, according to FX leaders analyst Aiswarya Gopan. Part of Luna's popularity is coming from the rapid evolution of decentralized finance. Along with competitors such as Avalanche and Solana, Terra has been gobbling up market share from leading DeFi blockchain Ethereum thanks to its faster transaction speed and lower gas fees. JP Morgan currency strategist Nikolaus Panigritsoglu flagged Terra's advantages relative to some rival protocols in a recent research note. Terra is a stablecoin issuing platform using a mechanism that minimizes volatility to achieve close bag of the issued stablecoins to fiat currencies, he said. This mechanism, operating via dynamic expansion and contraction of token supply, issues several regional stablecoins that can be swapped, making the Terra platform particularly stable for cross-border payments, he added. Well, there you have it. The latest news of altcoins today. Which altcoins would you add in your portfolio? Let's know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. To learn more about Anchorly and Anchorly tokens, check out the links in the description.